you are following a um, a sales coach or sales trainer or sales leader that tries to claim that they have zero fear of rejection or that they've never ever had a fear of rejection, then I would probably run, turn the turn the opposite direction and run because they're lying to you. It's always there. Um, it'll it'll ebb and flow. Uh, but it's always there. So how do you overcome the fear of rejection? The only way to <clears throat> get over the fear of rejection is to get rejected over and over and over. Like it'll, no one, a lot of people on social media will tell you, I don't, I don't fear rejection. Everyone fears rejection. Nobody likes to be rejected. It's just a fact. It is a universal truth. No one likes to be rejected, but if we, so if we take that off the table and say, okay, it's not about the fear of rejection, it's about how can I not let rejection affect what I'm doing? Like if I get rejected on the phone, how many seconds until I pick up the phone and dial the next number? If we can make it to where it's not affecting our performance, then that's the ultimate goal. And the only way you can do that is by putting yourself in a position to get rejected. I mean, it's like anything. You know, how do I build muscle? Well, you break it down over a long period of time and allow itself to build up. The only way to get over rejection and to not let that fear paralyze you, because that's what it does for a lot of people, is like the phone weighs a million pounds. They just like can't pick it up because what if they reject me? It's gonna take getting rejected 500 times for you to get over that. And when you get over it, it's just the expectation. like. If you're trying to do something extraordinary, rejection is inevitable. Like, it has to happen. Nobody's perfect. You can't control what the other person is going to do. You can't control what the other person is going to say. You can't control timing for the other person. Like, especially when you're in a sales environment, like there are so many variables that make it to where rejection is 100% expected. And so I think getting yourself in the mindset of knowing like, Hey, I'm going to have this many appointments today. I'm gonna make this many calls a day. I'm going to do this many door knocks today. I'm going to walk into this many businesses today and just go ahead and understand, like, I'm going to experience some rejection today and that's okay. Like that's part of it. It's normal. It's just part of the process. I think that can alleviate some of the anxiety of like, Oh crap. I hope this next person doesn't reject me. And the, the other side of that is they're not rejecting you as a person. They're just rejecting whatever it is you're talking about. And that's fine.